morning and happy Earth Day. My name is Christina Bukinevich and I'm a high school teacher with K-12 Private Academy. I am standing here in beautiful Spruce Creek Valley. Spruce Creek is a small community located in central Pennsylvania. We're about 12 miles from State College, Pennsylvania, which is the um, home of the Penn State University, one of the largest universities in the United States. So only 12 miles that way, we have a huge university. I am standing here on Route 45. You will hear some cars going back and forth. It gets a little noisy here. Um, today we're gonna celebrate Earth Day. We are reminded that this incredible beauty and diversity of our, of our planet. And um, from the vast oceans, we're about 200 miles from the Atlantic Ocean to the sprawling deserts, to the valleys, to the waterways. Uh, Mother Earth is absolutely a masterpiece. And whenever, wherever you are, um, hopefully we have some people watching from wherever you are, whether you're near a mountain, this is the Appalachian Mountain, or the Appalachian Mountain. Whether you're near a mountain, or a stream, or the ocean, or a desert, hopefully um, you can join us and celebrate Earth, Earth Day with me. Mother Earth, as I said, is a masterpiece. littering. So sadly, there is garbage and litter along the highways and public spaces. Um, I have been picking up trash. That's kind of why I'm dressed the way I am. I've been picking up trash since I was a young girl. First, the um, race club and then later the school and high school classes. And I like the importance of picking up trash along the highway. There are many reasons why we pick up trash along the highway. First, the environmental impact that trash has or litter has. Um, <laughs> it's windy here. So litter along the highways can uh, harm the wildlife and ecosystems. We know that animals may ingest or get entangled in trash along the highways, but when I speak about along the highways, I'm also talking about litter and trash anywhere, whether it be your public parks, water which of course affects plant growth and even our aquifers that we're sitting on. Um, I'm actually uh, standing on top of a huge water aquifer here so any chemicals will be leaching into the water aquifer. So the environmental impact is huge. away so we have a lot of people going to Penn State here through this uh, on this road and so the aesthetic value we want to have it clean so that um, obviously it looks beautiful um, we want people to have a good first impression picking up trash helps improve making it a pleasant place I know um, well, I'll talk about some other things uh, later but public safety and health is a third reason why we want to pick up trash Trash on highways can pose a lot of hazards. As you know, you've probably all had a flat tire before. So broken glass, sharp metal objects, and other debris can cause uh, injury, not injury, but damage to vehicles. Um, so that's a concern in the public health. And even um, even the a lot of the glass can cause damage to your hands if you were to get near it, whatever. Um, removing litter reduces these risks, obviously. Another reason that we want to pick up trash is to prevent pollution. I said that litter is a form of pollution. So trash on the highways can be carried by the wind. We have a huge, we have a stream not far from here. So the wind can carry the trash to the streams, pollute our, um, our waterways. It's also um, removing litter. We can help prevent the pollution of rivers, lakes, and oceans. I just want to say that a little bit about the types of trash that you find. I did a lot of research on this and this is, this is actually mind-blowing, but there are 
um, worldwide, over the globe, over over one trillion cigarette butts are littered each year on in the earth. Now, I don't know if I will find cigarette butts today, but I'm sure um, that's one of the items I'll find. Another item that you would be surprised, maybe not surprised, to find the most polluted or thrown out item are alcoholic beverages. So beer cans, um, bottle, wine bottles, and of course wine bottles, a lot of them are made of glass and when you throw them out, it creates a lot of uh, glass debris and that is obviously dangerous for our tires.
garbage bags, and I have two boxes here. One box is for the recyclables, and one recyclable. So if you can, um, if you can separate it, that's great. If you can't, it's more important to pick up the trash. Um, finally, um, I have some paper towels if we get messy or anything. Um, if you if you organize or participate in the community group to do this. that you pick up makes a difference. Every piece, it makes a difference. Conversely, every time you litter, you are hurting the environment and hurting Mother Earth. That's our, remember today is Earth Day. So let's show some respect for the planet and help preserve the natural beauty and resources. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, one last thing I want to say, I'm working here along the highway. This, you don't have to pick up trash along the highway to pick up trash. You can, you can participate in events around the community. Parks, local parks, local um, schools, there's some natural, um, all kind, any kind of natural places, there's urban areas. All of these places have trash. It's a funny thing I remember um, going into, especially urban areas, there was a uh, well, I had a Japanese friend come and stay with me. Actually, he was an administrator from a school in Japan. And he came and I picked him up there and he was impression was, look at all the trash. Look at all the trash. And I was, I'm proud to say that since that happened, um, some of the Philadelphia mayors have um, initiatives where they take the whole day, and I think it's today, uh, obviously, April 22nd, Earth Day, where they even give a lot of people off work so they can go out into their urban community and pick up trash. So it's really important, like I said, um, public spaces, uh, beaches. There are so many places where you can make a difference by picking up the trash. 